researchers at the U of A Cancer Institute are spending countless hours researching new medicines and ways to battle melanoma. And they're working with people from all across the country to brainstorm about new and innovative therapies. I sat down with those leading the effort to find out exactly how they're getting it done. According to the American Cancer Society, there is some genetic research on how cancer operates in the body, and that's helping doctors and patients move forward with treatments. These cells out. Ultimately, the things I'm doing are experimental. Georg Wondrak is an associate professor and researcher at the University of Arizona Cancer Institute. He spends his days finding ways to destroy melanoma cancers in the body. I am the guy who tries to come up with novel weapons on a molecular basis. It's an issue that Martha Bishop has been dealing with since her first melanoma diagnosis in 2009. That's when she found a mole on her back. Then in 2011, Martha had a PET scan and found out the cancer had spread to her lungs at stage four. So I started a clinical trial for Keytruda. That started working within four months and my tumors shrunk little by little and we finally started getting good news at oncologist appointments. Wondrak looks at various ways to develop new drugs and therapies. He closely examines tissues and cells, especially since melanoma can spread through the lymph nodes or simply jump to multiple areas and skip the lymph nodes altogether. The way I approach drug discovery uh, development of novel therapeutics is I look for Achilles heels that the cancer presents. I look for something that makes the cancer, the tumor, very vulnerable. My story is a story of hope. Martha says immunotherapy saved her life, and she's more than happy to participate in a clinical trial in the future. When my, I was diagnosed, my kids were three and five, and my goal literally was to get them through kindergarten, and they are 16, they're gonna be 17 and 15 this summer. Now your first